Hiya guys, I'm Rob from Blair Vaddock. And I'm Blair Vaddock Tom. And we're here today to tell you about... Soft Rush. Juncus uh, Ephesus is its Latin name. And here we're seeing it in its winter state. Uh, it's a bit spindlier than it normally is. But you can see the long green bendy stems that we talked about in the info card. Uh, and again, these are the ones that you can pick and peel to reveal the pith inside. Uh, and this was our first form of candle. Uh, so why don't you guys try it, go out and find some and peel them uh, and see how you go on and actually maybe try and make a candle wick. That'd be great. Oh, that sounds like a challenge to me, Rob, to go and make a candle using a soft brush as a wick. Challenge accepted. So here we are, guys. Here is a piece of soft brush that you can see. And inside the soft rash, and I'll just peel a bit off. Oh, might need to peel a wee bit more off. Is a soft white pithy stuff. As you can see just here. Peel it out. Here we go. And this pithy bit in the middle is very soft and spongy and it's great for absorbing water and that's why you find it in marshy places and it's a good indication that you're going to find the ground underneath is going to be damp and we're going to use this uh, as the wick for a candle. Now candles used to be made from tallow. Now tallow is traditionally the fat that comes from uh, a deer and it's the fat which is just under the skin. It is edible, but it doesn't taste very nice. Uh, but in a survival situation, you would eat the tallow. But more often, uh, when people used to get a deer and they'd skin the deer, they would take the tallow fat off and they would use that fat um, to make a can. What they would use for the wick is they would use the centre of brushes. So we're going to. We're going to see if we can make one of those back at home. So what I've collected together is a wee little glass jar. I've peeled off three quarters of the outside of the soft rash. So that you can see here I've got a little bit to give a bit of rigidity. And what I'm going to do is I've just made a little, I'm going to call it a, a boat here. I'm going to place that in the container and just going to poke this bit through the hole just like this and then hopefully that will sit in the bottom like that and that will hold my candlestick up so there's my this is my wick now poking up as you can see so all I need to do now is fill up this with fat um, I'm going to try and use the bacon fat and sausage fat from things that I'm cooking over the next couple of weeks to see if I can get enough to make uh, a candle. So for the last couple of weeks I've been collecting the fat from the food that I've been cooking. So I've got some pork steaks here, I've finished cooking them and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drain the fat off into my tallow candle there. There we are, just topping it up. So here we are, a couple of weeks later. You can see that I've added a second wick. I'm just trying to be uh, create a better success. Um, that's full of bacon fat and sausage fat. And we're now ready to see if we can light our tallow candle. Now I'm going to use some matches to light my tallow candle. Remember, if you are using matches or lighters, then you need a responsible adult with you. So I'm just going to strike the match on the edge of the box. And then we shall come down here. Let's see if we can get one of these. Uh, like, oh yeah! And there you guys have it, a candle made of animal fat. And it's one of the first aromatic candles. 
Oh, it smells beautiful. If you like bacon and sausage smell, you will love one of these candles. So, challenge completed, making a candle using soft rush as a wick. Thanks Rob for that challenge, gratefully appreciated. See you guys later, bye.